Hey you guys, it's me, Renaissance. It's been a little minute, but I just wanted to come on to YouTube for just a quick update um, to talk a little serious issues just for a quick second. I wanted to check in with everyone to see how everyone is doing. First and foremost, ah, as you can see, I have like a new um, device, a uh, hand-me-down from my brother. He's always like getting things and trying things. And this is a nice little 4K um, mini device and I'm happy with it so far. So I have been having a little trouble with editing my videos because I don't have all of the tools that I need to work seamlessly. So I'm working those things out. There are definitely some things I can do and some videos that I can get uploaded without a lot of editing. Um, so I'm happy about that. And um, I just, you know, this is, um, this is a creative channel where mostly I create and do tutorials and um, show products that I like, hair stuff, makeup stuff, um, crocheting and knitting. And, um, but I just want to talk a little bit about current events um, and just where I am mentally and just share my heart. Um, so first, how is everyone doing? Um, I know that some people are feeling great and doing great. Some people are not feeling great, are not doing so well. Um, this past year has either been wonderful for you or not wonderful for you. Uh, you might still have your job. You might not have a job. Uh, you may be working from home. You might have kids. You might be homeschooling. You might be doing a lot of things. I witness my brother and his wife, you know, doing all of these things, working from home, homeschooling. Like it, it's, it's a lot and we're still um, trying to figure out things. And I would say for myself, last year, uh, I finally finished my college career, um, graduate 2019, graduate 2020, um, graduating out of school into the craziness of the Rona, um, was like, I don't really know how to fully explain it because in my last semester or couple of semesters. I, I mean, I was really planning, like I had a plan. Um, I have applied to some of the places where I want to work. Um, <laughs> it's, it's difficult to even know like what work in that capacity is going to look like for me. Um, there are some things that I have accomplished, like you know, the first quarter of 2020 was out of this world. Phenomenal. I was, I had a double, um, uh, a double planner and my niece had gotten me into extreme planning. And I mean, I was going at it, the plans, the stickers, the prayers, the reflections, everything. Um, and because I felt like I was really planning out the way God wanted me to plan, you know, the desires of my heart and seeking him and trying not to lean, not to lean on my own understanding, um, everything, everything that I was planning was falling right into place. Um, if you guys don't know, I went back to school, of course, to go ahead and pursue music. Um, I've always loved music. Some of you do know that I uh, write songs and I sing in addition to all of the other crafty things that I do. And um, I just, 
I felt discouraged. Like, you know, once we got into the first stay at home order, I, I got discouraged, you know, and I think all of us were like hit unexpectedly, you know, like by a truck, you know, um, where we're like, wait, like the world just stopped. What are we doing? What am I doing? I'm finishing my last class online. It's tedious. It's crazy. Um, and then I think after some time, um, while there was still a lot of confusion, I began to get like my bearings on things like trying to understand things. Um, I will say this, 2020 for me was absolutely a year of clarified vision on so many levels. Like, I'm not going to explain them all here because that's for my other um, channel where I do like more Bible lessons and I talk about dreams and visions and more spiritual and supernatural things. Um, but I will say that um, socially and politically, I'm happy with in, in the place where I am. Um, and um, creatively, I've been trying to push through the discouragement of creating, um, but that is that is all I hear God's sweet, still voice saying is to create, 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 create. I I mean, my mind does not stop. It it just goes and goes and goes in terms of like what I want to do here, what I want to do there. I've been crocheting and knitting like crazy. I've I'm. God is pushing me to like dance again. I'm like working on a new song. I'm working on new dresses. I'm like, I'm writing poems. I'm working on my sci-fi. Like, because in so many ways, it's like I have all the time in the world to just use up every minute of the day, like, and be productive, be, be um, progressive and productive and to make each day count, each second count with what I'm doing. So um, I'm just implementing all of the things that are coming to me. So with my channel, you're going to see a little bit of a different um, kind of energy. Like I am creating some new um, categorized playlist to be more um, comforting to my audience. Um, some meditation videos. It's just, it's it's a lot. Like depending on um, where, you, where you stand in terms of like what's going on in the world, um, either you need this or you're like good, you know? And I just want to say to everyone, um, no matter, like, w one thing is for sure, we need, the people need to unify. We need to unify. Um, what I know for sure is that the things that God has shown me, and I'm just going to say this again, you can go to my other channel. Maybe I'll put the link. Um but I have had a lot of visions um, since the last year. Oh, that's my heater coming on. <laughs> I don't even know if it's loud or not. But, um, and I'm just going to say this. Like, three days before the first um, stay-at-home order, March 18th, 2020. So about three to four days before that, I had this dream that really was just like the beginning of opening my eyes to a lot about the world and about people. I feel differently. I think differently. Um, I just have a different kind of energy. And so I will say this, um, I am 
no longer a Democrat. I've been a Democrat my whole entire life. Um, and it doesn't have anything to do with any politicians, but I knew that I wanted to change my political party for some time, for about a couple of years. And once I realized um, why I needed to leave the Democratic Party, um, and I, I went ahead and did it for many reasons. Um, it's, it's like, you know, black people, we are really, really beautiful people. We're really beautiful people. And, and there has been a lot that's been uh, suppressed, um, a lot of our history that's been suppressed. And I'm not talking about slavery. You know, we go beyond slavery. We are beyond slavery, okay? I, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, clarified vision on so many levels. So no matter what side you're on, I, I've decided to be on the independent side. Um, I love you and I love everyone and we have to unify. And I'm just going to tell you that if people are taking sides and being angry and pointing finger at this person and somebody else is pointing fingers at this person, it's not right. It's not right. That's a trick. That is a trick. And, and everyone needs to go back into history. There's nothing new under the sun. Ecclesiastes tell us there's nothing new under the sun. These are old dogs with old tricks. And you, everyone's eyes have to be open. The blinders have to come off for everyone to see what is going on. So we need to unify and love everybody, everybody. Okay, so I've been um, pushing through the discouragement of creating and I've just been implementing the visions that I see. And, um, and I will say another thing that really just hit me was like last year when I realized that, okay, you know, there, there's a group of people on this planet that has the ability to like really just like shut the whole world down. And the truth of the matter is like I thought about my art and my music and my knitting and crocheting and writing and all this stuff that I'm doing. And I'm like, I'm like, the truth of the matter is whether it's like, I'm not even in as much control as I think I am, right? Like I am, but in so many ways, you have like certain powers that be, that can really be like, okay, we're going to do this. And it hinders it hinders my art. It hinders me being able to, um, being being able to fully put my art out into the world, right? So, in so many ways, there's a limitation right now. Like, let's say, I mean, when things were really shut down, it's like, okay, I can't even go to physically go like to an open mic or to an art show or to a, you know, it's like we're limited to only putting our out art into the world, like through video, like through this, like through YouTube, through, it's like, I can't see anybody. I can't visit anybody. Um, and I'm just, you know, expressing, expressing this. And at the same time, I felt like, oh, I have to do everything. Like there's no, no procrastination, no waiting. If I don't have anyone to help me, if I don't have a crew, it, I'm just going to get it done the way I can get it done with the tools that I have right now because I could die tomorrow. The world could blow up tomorrow. People can just control all kind of things tomorrow and hinder my ability to put my art out into the world. So I would just say that um, that was one of the reasons why I went ahead and did my music video in quarantine, like in the middle of the night at my office. Like I had this huge idea of where I wanted to do it on location and this, that, and, you know, and I was just like, okay, I got to think alternatively. 
Now, that is the beautiful thing about the situation that we've all been in um, this past year because because certain like privileges or accesses are taken away, we then reroute our thinking and become more resourceful and we think of other ways to accomplish putting our art out there. So if it's if it wasn't for like the shutdowns or you know staying at home or certain uh, restrictions, then we would not have thought of other ways to get things done. So um, that's just where I am. At the I'm I'm at that place where it's like I'm not really worried about whether anyone is liking what I do or not liking. Um, I'm not overthinking anything. I'm just going with my vision and I'm finding a way to execute it, put it out into the world, and just letting it be what is going to be. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, that's just where I am right now. So I don't want to keep you for too long. But um, because I'm getting ready to run out for some errands, Um, you know, I I have dealt with uh, uh, Rona deaths, Um, one being um, someone very, very close to me and my friends group, my brother's best friend, pretty shocking. Um, And, you know, so I'm going to a viewing tomorrow. And then one of my classmates, her mother passed away. And I just want to honor them. I just want to honor the lives that um, did not survive um, this past year. So, you know, March 18th coming up will be a full-blown year since the stay-at-home order. So um, I think that's it for now. Uh, I have this beautiful... (laughs) <laughs> little 4k toy it's really really great and I'm happy about that um, so you know just check in with me um, leave your comments down below let me know how you're doing let me know if you need prayer for anything just let's let's unify and we're gonna need each other we need each other I'm telling you we need each other um, and that's anyone and everyone so not that not that this channel is going to become overly political but i i will create a playlist of certain subject matter that's really really close to my heart um and it's really um i just want to give the information that that has been very impressionable to me you know and for all I know, you can know more than me. You could have been known more than me way before 2020. But just in case, I've been helping people, checking in with some of my friends that are um, that are still recovering from the Rona. And there's a lot that that I'm gonna say the Black community, Black American community, does not know about health and nutrition or have been blinded like y'all it's coming it's coming i mean yesterday i was on text extensively with one of my girlfriends who had to take herself to the hospital you know to me her recovery period is too long you know it's too long um And there was a lot of things that I spoke about on the text that she just didn't know. And those that those of you that have followed me know what I came through with my own illness, four tumors, surgery, two blood transfusions, and what I learned over the past six years about my body, my blood, eating, everything. So um, that's coming. I'm I'm super passionate about that, especially with the food and nutrition and all of those things. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Um, I look forward to talking to you, okay? God bless. I love you. 
All right. Bye-bye.